Hello! Do you like mixed media and don't know how to start or think you do not have the, all that stuff that you need? Or worry that you make mistakes and mess up? Don't worry, you are in the right place. That is exactly where I was. I did not dare to even try because I was thinking I would mess it all up. Well guess what? That turned out to be the best part of this. So I give you some tips and tricks and show you my messes. And the best tip I can give you is just start trying and don't be afraid. And the second great tip, use stuff that you already have and stuff that costs little to nothing. So here you see me working on an advertising brochure. It has seven page spreads and a front and a back. So it's a nice size for trying and to have a small journal in the end. I prepped all my pages with gesso first before I started because yeah well it's a brochure and you have pictures of ladies showing clothes in my case and I don't mind that I can see them through because it adds a layer and mixed media is all about layering. The layering is not in bulky things like in scrapbook that you just add layers and layers and layers and it gets bulky. The layers are more like stamping, like uh, some texture, like some stenciling, dripping, splattering. Those are all different layers. So it still stays flat. Everything you already have for card making, scrapbooking, you can use in your mixed media. So I started on my page just with a stencil and some modeling paste. Well, guess what? I don't have modeling paste. You see I have a big jar there and that's actually just wall filler. It's a really cheap one, but I'm sure you can get it at, the lo at your local stores as well. I use that with my stencils and it works out fine and it dries really quick. And if you don't have any stencils, that's okay too, uh, because you can use things around your house. I use a doily, for instance. I also used a piece of netting that I used on this page spread to stencil with. You can also make your own stencils uh, with die cuts. So I'm always trying to find stuff that I can replace if I don't have anything. So like I'm using Ecoline on this page. If you don't have any, don't worry. Uh, you get the same effect when you dilute your acrylic paints and you can let that drip. So always try to think what do I have and what can I use to get the same effect and just play around because that's the fun of it, just playing. So grab something and try out things. And it doesn't matter where it leads. So this page is really simple. I just use some stencils and some Ecoline in my case. And I diluted it with water and let it drip on my page. I also used a piece of netting that I used on this page spread. The green pieces that you see me cut. I also used that netting to stencil with. Not with modeling paste but with some distress ink because it's really sturdy stuff and it gives an absolutely beautiful texture. This page was actually made for a challenge and the challenge was to use something from outside, from, from nature on your page and it also had to be a spring kind of page. I got a branch out of my garden and let my husband cut it in really thin pieces. And those pieces I colored and you see me pouring some acrylic paint, white acrylic paint and on top of that I'm pouring some chalk. Uh, I got me some spray bottles and there was chalk in there and I dumped out the chalk because I needed to have the spray, spray bottles. And with the chalk here I made some chalk paint in green and in yellow. And I painted my um, wood chips with that. So if you don't have chalk paints, you just buy some uh, chalk sticks for the kids, you know. 
and you can grate them and use that to make your chalk paints. So that's another tip I can give you. So from those uh, little wood chips I made a caterpillar and then I stamped some butterflies because the caterpillar is changing into a butterfly and that's all what that's what spring is all about changing and new beginnings I also stamped a little with a stamp that I just got with some Ranger distress inks squeezed lemonade and also a green crushed olive so that gives me some extra texture and this is really a simple page I was just trying out some of my stencils and my Ecoline ink. I also inked around the edges with my vintage photo and I added a quote which I think I did not film and that's my page. So it is really simple to make a mixed media page and I did not really did a load of layering on this page but of course you can go on and on and on and on and if you make a mistake don't worry just put some paint over it and start over it's not a big deal because you're working with a, a brochure that you got free in the mail so what can happen you can't make mess anything up because you, you only used stuff that's not valuable or that you have plenty of. So just experiment and have fun. That's the beauty of this. Having fun. So just give it a try and have fun. And let me know how it goes. Because I'm really excited to share this with you and to get everybody into mixed media and not have to buy loads of stuff just use what you have use your imagination have fun you guys bye bye